afternoon. I can't believe it's Friday again. Another week is almost done and the weekend is here. And we have got a very special day tomorrow, open day at the warehouse. So if you live near us, if you live near Clacton and see, do come and say hello. We would love to see you there. And um, we will be open at 10 a.m. We usually we'd 10 a.m. to 3, but we will say we probably will go longer if we have to a little bit. But I'm just so excited to be able to see people again. And finally, we sorted the internet connection out. So I got a very special guest today. I'm showing you the meadow bracelet and how to make it. Um, without any further ado, I'm just going to bring her on. But before I do, if you got a question, please put a cue in front of your question so we can very easily identify it. If you've got a tip, put a T in front of it. So again, very quickly identify it and I can bring it into the uh, production. And um, if, you know, if you're new today and this is the first time you're watching, please put new in the comments and just let us know where you're watching from because we have people from all over the world. And sometimes it just sort of blows my mind. Uh, like with a but little old grey me here in England and actually it's a bit overcast this morning, but I'm hoping the sun's going to come I'm at um can get all around the world and we got the shot there you go charlotte is she's from hawaii she's watching from hawaii and loads of other people watching from all around the world right so without any further ado i'm gonna bring sue in we're just gonna have a little chat for a couple of minutes and we're gonna get on with the bracelet good morning sue good morning morning Hi. everyone how are you doing i'm doing well thank you Oh, Jenny's saying it's it's from a hot Western Supermere, so it's very, very hot there. But how's the weather where you are? It's a bit chilly this morning, um, but like you, hoping this afternoon's going to brighten up a bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to as well. Yeah. It's nice in Plymouth, Sue is saying. Lovely. Should be. We should have good weather for the whole weekend, don't we? That's, that's what they're saying. Yeah, it's supposed to be really nice, so hopefully, hopefully fingers be, crossed. Be, beating in a garden and getting some suntan, I think that's that's, oh, that, yeah. that's that, that's what the plan. Well, not for tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be in the warehouse, but um, I'll get Simon to open <laughs> the doors, doors and windows, as so at least we can have <laughs> the fresh air too. So um, tell us about your bracelet. How did you come up with this? Um, to be honest, I've always loved these... Oh, you can't see. I'm oh, I'll, 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 pop, I'll pop you down in the in the um, yeah, there just no. in a second. Um, I've always loved this sort of the shaggy sort of style bracelets. I think they look lovely. I mean, sort of winter time. I think they look nice with a, like a winter white jumper or something like that, and sort of any colours. But then they look equally as lovely in the summer as well. Absolutely. Um, yeah, they're just really really pretty, and they're so easy to do and. It's the sort of thing that when you're sitting out in the garden, you can just put your tray on your lap and your bead mat and put all your beads on. And you don't really even have to think about it, no. you know, because it's such a mixture of colours, especially with these beautiful ones that you've sent us. They're gorgeous. So many lovely colours in them. I'm just very... And sort of crystals and pearls and just beautiful very quickly popping to the website so totallybeads.co.uk you know the drill by now video tutorials here on the left or going to categories and video click on video tutorials there so today is a meadow bracelet and i'm sure quite a few of you already have this because we we're supposed to do this last week on wednesday so get your kit set and you can make along with us and if you haven't well, unfortunately, the blue is sold out, <laughs> but we got three other wonderful colorways. So the gold is, um, I love the gold. I love the um, the mermaid is using rose gold beads, bead like a beautiful, and I think that's what you're going to demo with, aren't you? Um, yes. A beautiful like sort of aubergine and... Um, burgundy color crystals and pearls and then we have the smoke which that's again a really nice um color i i love that color i call that sort of a black diamond color and that just goes with everything so th that's it check out on the website um it will make more than one bracelet depending on how you split your materials or how full do you want to make your bracelet but we're gonna come back to us and then we're gonna go straight down to the mat there we go. Right. So this is the blue one. Really, really pretty. There's so many sort of 
lovely colours in there, different blues and little pearls, crystals, all sorts. You seeing that okay? Yep, absolutely. I think that looks really good. Yeah. So that one is quite a shaggy one. Um, I'll explain to you in a minute. Um, this is the gold. Again, really, really pretty. Some lovely colours again in that. Different shades of gold and creams. Really nice. And then I think you call this one the smoke, is it? Yes. Yeah, this is the smoke. Again, really, really pretty. Um, this one, I haven't done quite as shaggy as the others, but I'll explain that to you in a second. But again, really, really pretty. Right, I'll just move those out of the way. So in the cat you, kit, you get size eight. Size sixes, so size, size eights. Eight. You get the most and then you get size sixes and then you get your like a crystal. It's like between four millimeter and maybe three three to eight millimeter, I would say the mixes, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Right, let's make a start. So the first thing we're gonna do is get hold of one end of your class, take your needle through. All we're gonna do is just tie a knot. I normally do about three knots. I've got a really long piece of thread here. I mean, you will have to join on anyway, so just do enough that's comfortable enough for you. That's one, two, three. Give it a nice tug. And then what we're gonna do is add on size sixes for the length of your bracelet. The size six is gonna make the main bone of your bracelet. Yes, that's right. So all we're gonna do is just keep picking up the size sixes um, to the length of your bracelet. Now you need to go about half an inch over what you would normally do. So if you've got a seven inch wrist, you wanna do it seven and a half, because um, as we add more and more beads into it, um it does tend to tighten up a little bit so i usually go over about half an inch and depending on if you like your bracelets loose or um, um sorry so mean mean is asking if you could just like push your hands up a little bit because they can't see your hands we can see oh, loads sorry. of the beads but we can't see your hands can you see that now yeah i think that that's great yeah that better i'll just push those out of the way a bit and I can keep up here. So it's just, as I say, just adding on all the sixes until you've got the right length. And because you're working with sixes and eights, I think it fills up quite quick. It does, yeah. I think there's something like, you know, to, to get the bubbly look, like you could do all sorts of different techniques. And I love this one. I did one oh, many, many years ago and I did a different base for it, but you could mm. do like a popcorn style with tiger tail. You could do, you could do with adding each one of those beads onto a hat pin and then curl the ends together and then string them yeah, on, good a, idea. A, on, a, on a bracelet. So there is, this is what I love about jewelry making that you can have the same look with so many different techniques. Yeah. And so many different beads. Right, I'm just going to put this around my wrist. I'm just going to put on a few more. I love like we've been making jewelry for so long and you've been making jewelry for quite a few years as well, but we still like, I either I ball it or we still keep me I'll still measure it around my wrist all the time. Every single time I make a bracelet, <laughs> I'll measure it around my wrist. Yeah. Right. Now I'm going to add on my other class, the other side of the class. Just go through there. 
And what we're going to do is go back along all those beads again. So you, you loop your other end of the clasp on and then go back down through all those beads again until we get to the other end. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow, Kitty. Oh, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow as well. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. I think it's, I was talking to somebody the other day and they said, and I said, like, this is the first time we're going to have an open day in like 15, 16 months. So the last time we did was in start of February, end of January, start of February last mm. year. And it's just like, and this lady said to me, well, well, this is like getting back to normality a little bit, isn't it? And I stopped and, That's right. and thought about it. And I was like, yes, actually it is. Because we used to be like, you know, we used to, uh, the beat club, which we do online now, we used to hold it at the warehouse. And, and you know, we, you, you, like we, on a weekly basis, we always used to have people coming in and going out. And I, and I do really miss that. And, and I love the beat club online. And yeah. we, we definitely going to carry that on um, be, because it's such a nice, you know, for every, anybody who lives like in Scotland or in America or anywhere else can join in. So we're going to carry that on. But, you know, I'm really looking forward to the open day just to see some of those familiar faces <laughs> what always used to come in and just, just yeah. say hello and just catch up like what's been happening and what's been going on and you know like what the grandchildren been up to and or what you've been That's beading right. what you've been just i i, I think tomorrow yeah. i'm not gonna stop talking all day <laughs> right i've got to the other end again now i'm going to go back through my clasp again i normally go through this a couple of times right now Take your needle through the foot, through the first two seed beads. Can you see that? Okay. Yep. Now it's entirely up to you at this point because what we're going to be doing is we're going to go into each of these beads, sort of you can go through twice, three times, four times, entirely up to you how sort of shaggy you want it. Now, if you wanted um it to be a bit shaggier. What I normally do is I pick up a size eight. Now, when I'm starting either end, I start with the smaller beads and I go up in size when it gets to the middle more. So if I wanted it longer, a bigger sort of shagginess or whatever you want to call it, um, I pick up a size, C, a size eight seed bead, a crystal pearl, whatever's in your stash, and another bead. So I've now got three on there. Bring it down to the bracelet. Now skip this last seed bead, go back down through the last two and back into that one same seed bead again that you've just exited. So you're forming like little loops over it. Yeah, that's right. So that's one. Now this time I'm not gonna pick up a seed bead. I'm gonna do it without. Uh, what colour have I put on there? So let's put a crystal, a small crystal and a seed bead. <clears throat> Bring that down again. Can you Skip just like, move your hand a little top. bit further up, sweetheart? That's it. Brilliant. Bring that down back into that same seed bead again. So I'm going, that's twice I've gone into that same seed bead. And I'll probably do that once more. You, you can go in as many times as you want. The more you go in, the, the filler yeah. it's going to get. That's right. Uh, let's find another colour. Let's go this colour. As I say, I start with the smaller ones and sort of work up. I guess if you wanted to, you could like taper it that you use like smaller beads on the ends of the bracelet and use like bigger bubbler beads in the middle. So like yeah, you have got like a shape. Yeah. Graduation as well. 
it's not only that when you get to put in the bracelet on um you don't want too many big beads around the clasp yeah so right so that's three i put on there so i'm still going to go through that same seed bead but i'm going to move on to the next one as well now so i'm going through two of the seed beads from the base Now my thread's all caught up. <laughs> oh, that always happens. Oh, Camille is saying, are you recording the verse, where has visit so we can see all the visitors? Oh, bless. And Rachel is saying, can you do, can you do a Facebook live of the day? So um, I talked to Simon, what we can set up, but definitely we'll pop online and say hello. But it would be, it would be so nice to like have a feed so we could have a feed coming out from the warehouse and everybody would just yeah, come and say good. hello so I, yeah. let, let me let me have a little think on that how we can make that happen and you never know so tomorrow at 10 a.m we might we might just start the hangout feed in a warehouse and you can just i don't know i'll, I'll see what we can do or how, how we can do it because obviously i will be busy chatting but um <laughs> but uh, we could just have like a little Oh, what they um, like a, a spy a spy on a like a fly on a wall sort of feed, that yeah, um, from, good from idea. One, one corner of the warehouse, and then you can just see anybody coming in and out, and you can come and go if you like. Trouble is, everyone's going to see what I'm buying, then aren't they? how <laughs> <laughs> much I'm buying <laughs> well, we, we, we put the, we're not going to put it next to the tail okay so <laughs> we, we put it somewhere else I'm commonly saying yes 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 a feed would be so good um, Ruth is saying commonly saying clack, 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 yes uh, and <laughs> Adeline is saying would you love to be there feeling very envious oh bless oh you can drink your coffee in peace today commonly saying yeah and in, on that note I'm going to take a sip of my coffee You can do a Zoom, you can use a Zoom, then we can all chat. I don't know. I'll, I'll, let me have a think what we can do. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll come up with something. So, um, we, we see. I need to pack up my laptop and everything else and take in tomorrow. I just need to see what corner can we set up. That, um, so, it's not prying for everybody because, like, if somebody doesn't want to be in the picture, then they don't have to be in the picture, like, sort of thing. But, yeah, um, it's fine. We'll, we'll see. I'm sure everyone's going to love it. Carol's saying we'd love to see that. <laughs> I took it's such Simon. a shame, you know, when people live so far mm. away, isn't it? You know, they'd love to come, but uh, it's just too far for them to to come. Yeah, but it's like you have to. You can make a weekend of it. The weather is nice. Like you know, we got very true. we got beautiful beaches here, and um, fish and chips and and amusements, <laughs> and we got two piers, and you know no, all it's sorts a of. Place to come. Yeah, especially at the moment you can't fly anywhere. So like you know you might oh. as well convince the other half that you need a, a cheeky weekend away. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> to collect and see. <laughs> oh, Dan is saying the thought of going round and round and picking up what you really need. Like Diane, that's like for me when I go. <laughs> I went into Boots the other day, and I picked up a, a whole lot of things. But, but like I didn't really need. Well, I did need, but I didn't. But you just pick it up because you're there. And I came out, and I came out the door and went straight back in because the actual thing what I went in for, I didn't put in the basket. <laughs> and the lady looked at me like, oh, I'm really sorry, I forgot this. <laughs> Oh, Joanne said, I have a family who lives there. It's just a bit short notice for them. Or, or, or tell them to, like, it's all, it's all right. <laughs> tell them you're coming. Don't ask for permission. <laughs> this, this is what Dean said to me on um, the, uh, the Create and Craft TV, that you don't ask for permission, ask for forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> so do whatever you like. <laughs> 
Oh, Ian is saying next time you and me, Adeline, long weekend away. Sounds good, doesn't it? Stay station in Clacton and private shopping in a warehouse. What could be better? I do I do feel like lucky sometimes like where we live and like when like yesterday we can just walk down to the beach in the evening and it was really nice and when the weather yeah. is nice but when the weather is like in the winter when it's like really really cold and you get the icy wind coming from the sea then it's like then it's not so great but <laughs> we look really for the summer Oh, kitty bed and breakfast. Janice is saying, uh, well, I don't know about that. You don't, do not want to eat my breakfast. <laughs> my, my, might be a little bit overcooked side. But um, there is loads of B&Bs around here. Like, there is loads of them. And we got Premier Inn, we got Travel Lodge, we got, I don't even know. Campsites. Yeah, they're, they're the campsites as well. And we got holiday oh. parks as well, where you can rent a caravan for like a weekend or the week. There, there is in Clacton, there is, I think there's three of them, three or four of them. There is one in Walton as well. There is so much to do down here. Yeah, we, my mum, we always went, that was our annual holiday to Walton on the Nays every year. Um, my mum had a friend who had a caravan. Oh, right. Up at the Nays. And, uh, oh, I absolutely loved it as a kid. It was absolute. I mean, the beaches were empty and there's a little huts all along the seafront. It's just so pretty up there. It really is lovely. I mean, we went then to have a barbecue on the beach last week, on Monday for the first time, I think it was when we went down. Was it Monday or Sunday? And then we, we went down this the last Sunday as well. But I dread to think what the people think because like we go down like four or five o'clock in the evening so everybody's yeah. packing up and they all bringing their trolleys and they're coming out they're coming off from the beach and there we are we're just like strolling down to the beach and i and, and i dread to think what they think like oh the, here are the late comers but um when we go down like five o'clock and especially after 6 p.m the beach is empty there is no one on it like oh, maybe no. one or two people walking past but it's just so peaceful and it's so nice so beautiful down there there's so many lovely places bethany's saying they have stayed in walton and nays a few times all right oh then no. saying if we had more notice we could have arranged with um to totally be friends for lives etc um this is just only like we've been kind of like putting it off and um saying oh well we're gonna do it and then like like you know we're just really keeping an eye on what's happening with the current situation but i said to Simon, yeah. like you know we just have to go for it and do it and then see what happens because like we might not be able to have another one later on this summer so mm. you never know you never know where, where what way the, the things are heading but I'm sure we will. We should we do one later on at some point. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Jenny's saying she's originate from Clacton and Sea and now she lives in Cromwell. All right. From one end to another. <laughs> yeah. And Sue's saying she remembers holidaying at Walton on the Nays in the sixties, um, with her That's dad. About the same time as we were there. Her dad's yeah. family who lived in Holstead. Oh, I've got so many lovely memories. It's, it's nice, man. But it's, it's like anywhere, I think. It's like ev every area in England, they have its own charms and like all, yeah. you know, I think wherever you are, there's beauty all around us. So how, how are we doing? I can see you've done quite a few beads now and it's actually really nicely filling up. Let, let's stop talking about the beach. <laughs> let's talk about beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right, I'll show you. That's as far as I've got so far. So if anybody just joined us, can you just um, tell us, talk us through like what you've done so far and um, how you how to add the things on the top? Yeah, right. Um, so start off by just tying your thread. I haven't cut this off yet. Um, so start by tying your thread to the first part of the, um, the clasp. Then you add on as many seed beads as you want round so that it fits your wrist, but go go roughly um, about half an inch longer than what you would normally wear it because 
because of putting all these beads on, it tends to tighten this up a little bit more. So put on enough, go through, add on your other half of the clasp, go back along all through these seed beads again, and then go through this, this side of the clasp two or three times, and then come out through the second bead past the clasp. And then we start adding on our beads. So I've been putting, some of them I've been putting a seed bead on first, then a, either a crystal or a pearl, um, and then another seed bead and skipping the top seed bead and going back through the two crystals and into the seed bead that you've just exited. Um, some of them I've just put on like a crystal. So let's do one more there. So this one I'm going to put on a pearl and a seed bead. Bring it down to my work. Hold the bead, skip this seed bead. Don't go through that, just go through the pearl and then back into the seed bead that you've just exited. And when you want to move on, I normally go, I normally put about three into each one, which I find is enough into each seed bead. So, but I've put three into that one, so I've moved on now to my next one. So let's put this one. I think that like, it depends on how big beads you use as well. Yeah. I really yeah, do love see, it. I'm gradually go, sorry, I'm gradually going up in size in now because I'm sort of, I've put the smaller ones on this end so as it doesn't interfere with my clasp too much. And now I'm gradually sort of working my way up. But as I say, you can go in twice, you can go in four times into each seed bead. It's entirely up to you how you do it. And I love those mixes. So do I. They're gorgeous. That, it, I mean, it, it, it's just really a mixture of beads like burgundies and like rose goldy yeah. colours. And uh, But what I also like is the fact that there's crystals in there, there's pearls. Um, they're just so pretty. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, what what size are the seed beads? So the size we are using is size eight and size six. So the the cord, yeah. the bracelet, what's underneath is size six, and size the top six. one we're using size eight. So they are fairly bigger seed beads. So it grows quite quick as well. Your bracelet. Yeah. I love it. It gives, it. it gives a lovely effect because of it being sort of seeds, um, because of it being pearls and crystals and all sorts. You a sort of get. Sorry, go on. Sorry, Lorna was saying a good use for bead soup, and absolutely. So I I do that all the time. I have got like little pots. And whenever yeah. I, do, I do a project and I only got maybe five or six beads left, which I know it would not be enough for like a whole necklace or bracelet or anything. I just pop mm. it in by, by colors into this pot and, and it yeah. just stays there and until I get enough and then do something with it. Yeah. Now that's exactly what I do. I mean, this one here is my original one. And that's just all bits and pieces that I had left. The seed beads, I had some small crystals. So Indeed. you can literally do anything. Yeah. Anything with anything. <laughs> yeah. It's it's what, you know, like things like that. It doesn't really matter if one bead smaller or one, one bead bigger. It's just so versatile. And I yeah. love techniques like that for beginners because you can't go wrong. Like, you know, you no. the, it gets that organic look. And actually yeah. talking about organic look, I'm just going to grab the necklace, what we're going to do next week, because that's very, not, not the same technique, but very similar. Oh, and I got the blade on, so I can put it on and hopefully it will go nicely with my top. So we're going to do next week, we're going to do some coralling. And I really Ooh. do love how these sit. Probably for this one, I would have needed something a bit longer. This would be nicer with a, a round top. So I like to make these a little bit longer. I'll, I'll show you um, show, I'll show you closer later on. But I love curling. I love this organic look like Sue's bracelet here or anything like in a necklace. 
I really do. I really do love it because you can't go wrong. You 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 literally can't go wrong. If you make a mistake, nobody's gonna see it. No, that's really pretty. So I, I don't want to give away too much. I don't want to show it too much, but I, I'll show you a bit more close up of it in a bit. <laughs> So how, how are we doing? Like we've been doing it for probably about a good 20 minutes and actually you are like quite, quite it's grows quite quickly as well, which I'm quite surprised. It does. So it's going to take a long time, but actually like you got probably like an inch and a half there already with all the beads on. Yeah. I'll just put this one on and off. There you go. So when you think, I mean, we've sort of just been sitting here chatting and I've, yeah. I've probably done what, about a quarter of it? I think like that's the thing as well. If you like, like there is a, a few of you doing something together, a project like this is perfect to do because if yeah. you don't you don't need to pay attention what you're picking up. You just need to pick the beads, pick the beads up. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, if you're sort of having a um, little get together in the garden with a couple of friends, you could sit there and make these quite easily, couldn't you? Absolutely. I think they're beautiful. Yeah, they're really pretty. And as I say, those bead mixes are gorgeous, really nice. I think, like, you know, sometimes like less is more <laughs> but sometimes yeah. more is more and in those mm. bead mixes because you got so many you probably got like 40 50 different beads in there um yeah. just really sets really sets it off um patricia's saying i hope everyone has a lovely day tomorrow please let let us see some pictures of your day i'm really envious all of you, but please remember to leave something for us in the warehouse. Oh bless! I'll, I'll be lock some away, Patricia. I will. I will put some. <laughs> put some in the lock cabinet for you. I don't think there's much chance of that with the size of your warehouse. <laughs> oh no, probably not. There's no, there's no chance of running out. No, no, they haven't got to worry. Um, I didn't think, will we have any more Earth Creation Station back soon? I, I'll get Simon to check the stock and um, let you know. I So Creation Station, we did it last Saturday and we made... I packed it up, didn't I? Because I was going to take it in. Or did I put it to the side? So you have, I'll, I'll grab that as well and show you. So we made a beautiful pendant. Well, I think it's beautiful. I haven't quite finished mine and I probably might change the numbers on the, the seed bead numbers just a tiny bit. And but we had an earth and a sky colorway on on the website and we only did we only played with the sky. We haven't played with the earth at all. So I said I will do another creation station not this weekend because we got the open day but next Saturday. And, and just play with it on the other side. I left it a little bit more plain and we didn't go all the way in. So we covered the donut and I think it just looks great. So those are the pictures you might have been seeing in the handmade group or, or, or online. I love it. I really do love it. So loads of you it's asked so for pretty. loads of you asked for a bundle for Creation Station so you can do the same time, the same thing what we're doing and we can really work uh, things together. And um, yeah, we, we put one together. So I'm just going to text Simon and ask him to check on the stock on that one. So next Saturday, we're going to do the session two. The session one is on my um, YouTube channel, which is Kitty Robinson Designs. We can only do it in one place because 
after some time, like the the comments stop coming through from Facebook. So just to keep to keep it like, because then I need to open all the different windows to see everybody, and just to keep it like for everybody to to be able to see everybody's post. Because like you, you giving comments, and then we change numbers and colors and sizes and all sorts of different things. So just do it on um. On YouTube so that's Kitty Robinson designs on YouTube check that one out and we are going to do another one not this weekend next weekend so you can still get the kit and, and make along again and try that try that one out what we did last week but I think I'm going to reduce this inner side when I picked up five seed beads and just pick up four and see how's it gonna look like I just haven't have, haven't had time yet so how are you doing over there yeah, we're doing fine. As you can see, it's growing nicely now. It's like one of those things, as you said, you know, you can just sort of sit there. You could even watch telly, couldn't you? If you're sort of one evening just sitting there, having the telly on, having the tray on your lap and uh, just making this bracelet. I think it yeah. took me probably about an hour, hour and a half to finish one. As I say, you don't really even have to think about it because, you know, it's just sort of random pickups, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm horrible at random, so. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm like I, I will keep going back and picking up the same thing so what I have to do I have to get those beads and then line them up like just oh, really? just just by chance like line them up into like a line in front of me and then I always yeah. pick up the nearest one because otherwise <laughs> I will go to certain beads all the time yeah Victoria is asking would it work as a necklace absolutely you could do it as long yeah. as you want but what you could do, which is um, I do it all the time, make it into a bracelet. And then, because you've got more than one clasp in your kit, just do like a, um, a naked bead, <laughs> a na <laughs> naked bead sort of the size, but you need to go around your neck. And because you've got toggle clasp there, you can just hook into each side of the toggle clasp and then you can wear it as a necklace or you can wear it as a bracelet, making it multi-usable. And you just got the extender piece on the back. So you don't need to have to add beads onto that one. You just have beads like, like decorated on the top, on the front. Mm. I was just wondering, you know, whether or not, uh, like you were just saying about making it into a necklace, if you had the uh, magnetic clasps on there, I wonder if they would work. Yeah, they would work as well. Magnetics work as yeah. well. But you can do with the toggle clasp as well. Because yeah. you, you, you hook into one side and you hook into the other side. Mm. Oh, Diane is asking what, what type of thread are you using? I'm Will actually it... using Fireline, but you can use whatever thread suits you. I think everyone's got their own preference, yes, haven't they? Yes, absolutely. So, but you can use whatever you like. I think if you if you use fire line, so so with thread, so if you do this technique and use fire line, your um, how can I explain it? So your bracelet is gonna be a little bit more perky, a little bit more like. The, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what the right word is, but if you use if you use superlon, then it's gonna be a little bit more floppy. So it's like, <laughs> so it's it's. They both got the advantages and disadvantages. I prefer Supalon because this this one is this one is done on Supalon and it's very very fluid. If you do do the same, if I would do the same stitch on um, with fire line or any fishing line, I would not be able to scrunch it up like this because like they, they hold that themselves. I, I love the movement what you get with the Supalon, but each one of us is different. Yeah. But try both. Try make one with one and make stiffer. <laughs> Thank you, Camille. <laughs> um, um, you make one with one 
type and make make the exactly the same bracelet of necklace with another thread and then compare the two that's the only way you will learn which one you like best i mean sue mm. likes fine line better i like thread better but it's just fine line is firmer and it's going yeah firmer <laughs> <laughs> It you depends can also on you. put on like two of the smaller beads and then the seed bead on top. Do the same thing again. Instead of using one of the bigger beads, put two two of the smaller ones on. Yeah, and you to make your little spike bigger as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do a few of those, I think. So Simon is saying... It, it's... Sorry, go on. No, Simon was just saying he's checking creation station. So we'll see. I'm sure he will be all right. And actually, if you go on totallybeads.co.uk and you go on to you go into categories, you go into Creation Station. The video of what we did last Saturday is on there as well, so you can watch it there as well. And the kits are there. Just refreshing and see. No, he hasn't changed it yet. It's sometimes it's, it's like quite, I don't know, it power of the internet. Sometimes you put something, a change on the website and it changes it like in five seconds and sometimes it takes five minutes. <laughs> Can we make three bracelets from one bag of premium mixes? Mina is asking. So if you want to do that, Mina, split your materials before you start. So then you have equal amount of materials used on each bracelet. And then you can use like less um, on one bracelet and more on the other if you wanted to. But if I if you have an, a number of jewelry you want to make from the materials, I always say like split it right at the uh, beginning. So that then you know exactly how much you have to use. With the uh, size six seed beads, I think if you strung them on, I measured it this once. I think it was 90 centimeter, three feet length. So if you do 10 gram size six seed beads, if you string it on one strings and gives you like a 90 centimeter length, which is more than enough for three bracelets. And don't forget, once you make your bases, you can use the leftover size six beads as well as it I was would just be. Say that. <laughs> uh, as it, with the mixes as well, because they would yeah. look great on the top as well. The other thing is, if you're if you want to sort of make it go a little bit further, the bead mixes go a little bit further, use one of the size sixes first. Yeah. Um, as, a, as a bottom one. And then we just say, uh, let's put this one on. And then a size eight goes on top. That way you're not using one of the smaller beads for the bottom, yeah. one of your crystals or one of your pearls. Just use that as the, as, uh, the bottom bead. So make the three bases first, and then whatever is left, yeah. I would I, I would just like sort of chuck into the mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks really good. Oh, I love these bracelets. <laughs> I think everybody's gone out, so I'm gonna have to answer that front door. I'm really really sorry. <laughs> you take your way. You you chat soon. Okay. <laughs> I can't see any of your comments, so I'm really sorry. All I've got is my bead mat and uh, and Kitty sort of telling me what's going on. So, but, um, right, it was right. a parcel. Oh, was it? Yeah. I mean, Sarah got dogs. <laughs> I, I, I just got parcels turning up. And it wasn't even for me, actually. I think that looks great. How how So if you if you wanted to make your own mix and you haven't had your you all have haven't like if you got beads at home and you want to make your own mix, how many different beads would you suggest you would need for a mix? Um I don't know. Eight would be good. You would need quite a few. Yeah. I mean, looking at the mix here, as I say, there's these tiny little ones, like three mil, four mil, six mil. But the thing is, when you buy 
your kits, you do get more than enough, don't you? To yeah. So your people are bound to have bits and pieces left over. You know, it might only be two. Or, I mean, you don't even have to do the same color tones, do you? As this is. No. You know, you you could even mix like blues and greens and yellows. You know, whatever colors you've got in there, or mix them all together. But you would need probably about eight to ten strands of strings to to have like a good mixture for a bracelet, isn't it? That, that's what I'm sort yeah, of trying I mean, to get. To be honest yeah. with you, what I do, like like you was sort of saying, that when I've bought beads in the past, I perhaps I don't I might have sort of three or four of something left over. Yeah. So I just put them all in a box and then when I've got enough, I just sort of Start mix them. them. Yeah, I just sort of put them in the box, swish my hand around in the box, mix them all up and uh, isn't, yeah. Isn't that a great feeling though when you're mixing beans? Oh, I love like that. you can just put your hand in it and mix yeah. them. Yeah. Right, so if you if you are new, can we just one more time go through like how you make the base set? And I think we, we're going to leave you with there to, to fill up the rest of them. But like you've only been beading maybe about half an hour and, yeah. you know, come a very long way with it. So a very easy technique as well. I really, I love yeah, it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right, so to start with, oh, we'll start this end. So I just tie my thread through the hole of one half of the clasp and then I add on enough beads along here, go about a half an inch, between a quarter and a half an inch longer than what you would normally do your bracelet. When you get to the other end, go pick up the other half of the clasp, go through that, bring it back round and go back all through these seed beads again. When I get to the other end again, I just do a couple of knots again, go through the loop, throw the, this loop again two or three times, and then I start off. But I always leave this first bead free because you don't want it the beads too close to the clasp because of putting it on. On, so the, you, you on, the, on the toggle end, would you leave like two or three beads for you or just one? I just leave one. That's fine. Look. And that's sort of, the beads fall over and cover this up anyway. Yeah. So I just leave one free. But if you wanted to leave two or three, again, that's fine. You, it's your bracelet, you know, so. It's your design, you, you can do whatever you like. Eileen is yeah. asking, sorry late, how, how many premium mix bags do you need for one bracelet? So one brace, one pre, one premium mix bag, we probably you do two or three bracelets, depending of how much bubble you want to make it. And Matt is asking, how long was your thread? Well, you're going to have to add more thread anyway. I mean, mine was probably about two arms lengths, and I've got probably about 12 inches left. So you will have to add more. But again, it's so easy because if I needed to add more thread here, say, just go through that bead. Go through the loop, just leave a little loop, go through it a couple of times. And it will be not to do it. Yeah, pull it. And then I normally just take it through a few more beads to get the thread out of the way. And I might do it once more. Just go through that one again. Because these are lovely, they're size sixes, they're nice big beads. So I'll do that once more. So Judith is asking, Sue said in her intro that one of the samples she made was skinnier. Was was there a reason? Yeah, what I've done is on some of them, I've put one seed bead, one crystal pearl, whatever, and then another seed bead. That makes the, the strand just that little bit longer. On this one, all I did was I put a crystal and a seed bead on top. That makes it a shorter sort of shag pile, if you can call it that. So that's a shorter shag pile. And this that's is great. the longer one. Can you see the difference? Yeah. Absolutely. So it really all depends on what you want, whether a shorter shag, shorter shag pile, or, or a longer one. Oh, um, Sue, <laughs> we do, we do, what are we talking about today? Oh, bless. <laughs> 
So that's the difference anyway. You know, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say. I know exactly what you're trying to say. I think they look great. But again, it's your design. So you could... You could do whatever you like. You could make one bracelet with all using all the smaller beads. You could make another bracelet using bigger beads. You could make a bracelet using smaller beads on two ends and bigger beads in the middle. They're just so... And I love the way when you shake them, the little noises that they make. It's lovely. Absolutely. So that's what this one's looking like so far. I, I think it looks great. <laughs> And probably yeah. like another good half an hour and you will be finished with that one because you've uh, well, yeah. not quite halfway but like more no it's, it's not far more, now, more than a third yeah yeah right my lovelies i hope you enjoyed today and be back on monday so i'm just going to come back to this camera and um hold this up a little bit closer so we're going to be doing coralling there we go I didn't show you too much because that's, <laughs> I, I'm so bad. I will, I'll, I'll just like, oh, I get so excited when I make something and I just want to want to show you off. But I love, I really love this technique. So we're going to be doing, and this is going to go perfectly with your bracelets, what you've been making today. Beautiful. Lucy's Lucy saying, looks so nice. I'm definitely going to try this. Lucy, you could try this and you could try the bracelets as well. You will be absolutely fine with it. Um, I do have big hard beads in my collection. How would fit these in? So uh, if you had like one or two big beads, I would add that in the middle and add maybe a couple of seed beads underneath it. So it acts more as a charm rather than a bead. Does that make sense? <laughs> the front door went again. Is it not? No, no, no. It's, Alexa is not talking. So that's good. <laughs> Might anybody else have got any questions at all before we sign off? Maxine is saying thank you so much. Actually, I'm going to bring them down to the bottom now. The comments and make these a little bit bigger. Put my glasses on. Oh, that's good. Being fab and I'm, I'm on holiday today. So being great to watch. Have a wonderful time tomorrow, lovely beaters. Um, thank you, Kitty, for the great tutorial again, uh, and Sue for the, uh, thank you, Kitty and Sue for the tutorial. I wasn't being do me; it was all Sue today. Um, thanks, Sue and Kitty. Lovely day, everyone. Thank you. Uh, it, great demo. Carol saying, "Thank you, Sue." Kimberly saying, "It's lovely. We'll have to have a go at this." Yeah, have a go at this. Um, it's it's really really easy to make, and I think. Um, you know, you, you be so. I love easy techniques because they are no brainer techniques, and and you can sometimes. I feel like even when like you know writers get writer blocks and blocks, and we are creative people. People get a block some sometimes as well, don't we? That like, oh, I don't really know what I want to do, and doing something simple and something like this, which is very repetitive, but you are you're using different sides of beads, it gets your brain brain thinking, gets get gets gets you going. So just just have a go at it. Um Ruth is saying thank you. Um Jean is saying thank you. Um thanks you everybody for watching. So I'll be back on Monday. Don't forget open day tomorrow. So if you are near us and um I I'll I'll try to sort some tricky I don't know. I talked to Simon what we can do. How, how we can do it, how we can set something up, how we can set a live feed up from the warehouse. But um, I'll, I'll sort something out. So, because then like different people coming could come and say hello really if they wanted to. So, but I don't know. I, I, I have a little thing, definitely. So Sue, thank you very much um, to You're showing welcome. us this bracelet today. And we're going to see you very, very soon. Um, but I'm going to see you tomorrow, actually. <laughs> that, yeah. would be, that would be soon enough. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. And you, everybody, um, have a lovely day. Have a, If the sun is out, go and be in a garden. It's a perfect day outside. Um, the sun is coming through. It's a bit brighter where I am. So I'm definitely going to have the sunshine this afternoon. And um, we will see you very, very soon. Have a lovely day. Have a great bye, weekend. And bye, everyone. See you.